to Aaron Mobile Mechanic TV and today I already started on how to change a old brake line on a Buick Lacrosse it's got a split right there so it's leaking oil it's got a split right there the split was already there I just finished it off so the tools you're gonna need you're gonna need a ratchet a 11 a 10 you're gonna need some universal pliers a screwdriver a hammer and some needle nose pliers and a crescent wrench the reason why you need a crescent wrench for it is got is because you, you can do any you can do any sizes you ain't got to go and look for your wrench you know what i mean so um here's the part number for your brake line 79115 and this your uh dear lads from uh autozone trash all right so we have so up here you have the that's a uh a 13 or 14 either way doesn't matter because i have the universal caressing wrench here so you're going to be breaking this loose this way so you put it on this way and this way you tighten it up so you go this way you break it loose, but before you break, you gotta, you wanna, you wanna break it loose first, and then after that you get your needle nose pliers and you stick it in here. There's a little, there's a little pin here. See the little pin? You pop it on, you pop it off real quick, and then you wanna go off and break it loose. See how it, once you break it loose, it's gonna pop off. But here's the catch on this hose here, it has a little lock there, and it has a little a, a little a little lock there. So you have to when you put this on, you see slowly it's gonna fall in place. See, so you see it, it's not it's not gonna go on easy. So you gotta you gotta t twist it until it falls in place. Boom, it fell in place. Then you get your little lock. This little lock that it comes with. This will hose this will hose the brake line from moving. And you just pop it back in place. Simple. I'm putting it on, so I already took it off. I'm just I'm putting a new one on now. I'm just showing y'all how to put it back on. You no, know, I was like to start my videos. So I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but if it helped, give it a like, share, comment, subscribe if you're watching my shit. And um, let's get this bad boy on and, and bled and back in place. So there it is. We tight we tighten it up. Boom. So what that little lock does, it holds it holds uh the hose from popping out so so you can tighten it, you know? It just you just give it a little snug, a little nice little snug, not too much, you don't wanna break nothing. Boom, okay? And um Remember this, this this little bracket here, it holds the hose from touching anything and from hanging anywhere. So this hose here, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, you can adjust it. It's gonna, it's a little tight, but you can move it to where you want it. You know, if you can just put a little glue on it, it, it'll slide up and down and anywhere. You know what I mean? So all you really have to do is just adjust it to where you want it, to where you want to put it. So you'll be all right. It's gonna slide regardless if even if it's even if you don't put lube on it. And if you do pull a little on it, it'll, it'll, it'll slide it'll slide up and down. And then from there, you want to go ahead and just bring it down, bring it down, just bring it down until you get till you get it to where you want it, you know. So let me go ahead and adjust it to where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be right here. So this bad boy here, hmm. Let that bad boy go like this. Yeah, that bad boy go like this. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, make sure that's the right way. Then we'll keep going. Uh -huh. This here is the um, 
this is a screw where it's gonna come with it's gonna come with new washers. Here are the washers. When you get the brake line, it comes with new washers. So let me go ahead and get them. Brake. Brake fluid tastes nasty. All right, so this hose here is gonna go like this. So you're gonna put the screw in this way. And then this washer goes on the back, right there. All right, these are called crush washers, copper crush washers. And it's gonna go like this, you see? Show the camera. It's gonna go just like this, sideways like this. And you screw it, this is a number, this is 11 millimeter. You get your little 11 millimeter ratchet with the socket 11 millimeter, or you get your little wrench, whatever you wanna use. Okay, so you just want to go ahead and just hand tighten it. These, these, this stuff here, guys, you just want to hand tighten it. You don't want to, you don't want to tighten it with a wrench. And so you just adjust this. You make sure that's gonna fit where you wanna, you want it to go. Ugh. Boom! It goes. This little bracket here goes to this little hole here. So it's gonna go right there. Boom! See? That's, that's how it's supposed to be. It just helps you from it touching the strut, touching anything. Okay. You get your little 11. You wanna go ahead and, you wanna go ahead and tighten it up. You tighten it up, you tighten it up. You give it a good little snug, not too tight. Okay, so then you get your little 10 millimeter bolt, I mean screw, and you bring your little hose back this way. Boom. Bring the hose back this way and you tighten it up. That's the bracket. So you just pull it, you know what I mean, to where you feel like it's right. Boom. It's got this little here. It helps from the hose from like crimping. That's supposed to be on top. And then that's really how it's supposed to be right there. Just like that, guys. Boom. Where's it now? Okay. And after I'm done with that, give it a little wipe. The, well, the mechanics, you know, don't don't leave no dirty. You know what I'm saying, clean up after yourself because people see the work, the quality of the work you do, and they like to see cleanness, not dirtiness. Boom, there it is. Okay, so now after that, you're gonna want to open the bleeder. Now we're starting off the we're moving that we're moving on to the bleeder. We're gonna bleed. We're gonna bleed all four because there's no telling if any moisture or anything got in there. So we're gonna bleed all four. So we're gonna start with bleeding this one. Once we get all the air out of this one and we get some fluid coming out of here, we'll move to the back. We're gonna move to the back passenger side. We're gonna do a zigzag. We're gonna start from the back to the driver's side back to the driver's side, uh, passenger side front and then back to the uh, driver's side, which is this one. As long as we can get the air all, all the air out, we get the brakes working how they're supposed to, he's gonna be good. So let's get started on that. Hey, you drove this motherfucker with all the fluid came on this motherfucker. Yeah. But when I got back, it was over. No, when I got back here, but it was steady, like coming out, out of the ground. Like. Steady point? Yeah. You got fluid in the reservoir? I right, uh, pump it up. Make sure it's always closed. You always gotta make sure it's closed. Pump it up a uh, good five times. And the fifth one, hold it down. All right, hold it down. It's gonna go down. Just hold it down. All right, guys, so here we go. Open it. You see, it? and that's how you bleed it. So now you close it. 
All right, uh, pump it five more times. Seems like, seems like all the air out. So when you open the bleeder, and you hear it go tsh, tsh, of just like little squirts, little, little dots coming out, that's because most like you got all the air out already. All right, hold it down. You're gonna wanna open it up again. You're gonna see it leaking. So that's how you know for sure fluid's coming out, all the air out. Tighten it up. All right, uh, how does that pedal feel? Does it feel hard or is it feel like a little, a little weak? A little loose? All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, let me get the wheel back on. Today is just one of those cold days. You know, it's like one of the today's the fourth of what February, and it's like supposed to be one of the coldest days. I would keep going and show you how to bleed all four, but nah, it's too cold. The floor is cold. My hands are cold. Even though I'm wearing, I'm, I'm even wearing gloves, guys. So that's just a little something, something how to change the uh, brake line and how to bleed. Um, so what you want to do is say you change the caliper or the hose from one side. You want to bleed that one first. Make sure it's topped off with fluid before you start bleeding. Because if not, you're just gonna get you're gonna damage the rest. You're just gonna have air and all the and all the rest. Most likely, uh, I mean, the um, the good thing was that this guy, he saw it leaking. I came and switched the line out. Yeah, it leaked. I made sure that I made sure it was topped off. So uh, maybe just a little bit of air got in that one. Um, so I changed out the brake line. I changed out the um, the crush washers. That helps out too. Don't forget to change the crush washers. That helps out too. And uh, tightened up everything nice and tight. I bled that one, and then. I bled the one in the front and then I bled the one in the back driver's side and then the one on the back passenger side and then um he really didn't need it because once so we're out of there like I was saying he really didn't need he really didn't need the back but I did it anyways because that's what real mechanics do they just don't do half-ass jobs you want to go ahead and just bleed it off make sure you know what I'm saying the customer is going to be right you know you know so once he hits the brakes He's gonna tell you, oh, hey, it feels good. He, he'll, he'll know how it feels once he pumps the brakes and then test drives the car. He'll know how it feels. He said he even felt better. I'm glad I helped him out. Uh, that being said, guys, it's cold out here. Turn the heater on full blast. Y'all stay warm and stay cold when it's hot. And I'll see you on the next one, y'all. We out of here now. Off to the next one. Peace out. Y'all know what's up. Like the video if it helped out in any kind of way. Till then, see y'all on the next one.